Hi there. A friend of mine recently asked me if I could clean up this lovely old diesel engine for him. Now this used to be his father's when his father was into uh, flying error modelling and he just wanted it looking nice kind of remembered so he could remember his father which is is lovely and I was more than happy to do that and I thought I would share it with you because it's a lovely old engine and it'd be great to get it cleaned up and if we can get it in the test stand and see how it runs. Well this lovely looking diesel engine is an ME Heron. It's a 1cc diesel engine that was first introduced in 1960 or first manufactured in 1960 and these have got a really good reputation not only for good build quality but for being easy starters so I'm really looking forward to, to cleaning this up we can see here it says made in Isle of Man and that's in the UK and if we look on this side we can see the ME Heron logo hopefully just hiding there below the castor oil residue and the, and the fuel residue now originally this would have had a, a tank on the back and this compression lock here is, is non-standard. I think that looks kind of homemade. Maybe it was just vibrating around a little bit and losing compression. But excellent quality engine by the look of it, good condition and it would be great to get this cleaned up and running. But it's seized absolutely solid. It doesn't turn, don't want to force it. If I try forcing it I'm going to break something and that would be such a shame. Well the first thing I'm going to do is soak it in fuel for a few days. I'm then going to get loads of penetrating oil on it, a little bit of heat and we'll see if we can get it turning and get it moving again. Well I've now got this lovely old engine cleaned up and it's looking great and I'm really pleased with how it's come up. It was a bit of a battle, it was really, really sea solid and inside was just full of kind of congealed uh, castor oil. It was really quite disgusting inside and I ended up having to completely strip it and you can see from these pictures here, it, all the components nicely cleaned up and ready for reassembly. Well I've now got this reassembled and it's got great compression sounds really good. I, I must correct one thing, I said this was made in the Isle of Man in the UK. The Isle of Man is actually in the British Isles, it's part of the British Isles but it isn't part of the United Kingdom, the UK. So I ought to correct that. But let's have a closer look at this. As I said this is all nicely cleaned up now and looking great. It's not perfect but it's a lot lot better than it, it was to start with. And we can even see that ME Heron and the logo properly now on the, on the side of the crankcase and it's nice that the anodizing is showing up on the head which wasn't really noticeable when it was so mucky and we've got the fins lovely and clear so that should be nicely cooled now when it's running and here we can see made in IOM Isle of Man well all that's left now is to get this in the test stand and see if it will run and how it runs.
Well, as you saw from that brief video, it ran pretty good. It was difficult to start at first, but I think that was because having had it totally stripped, the needle valve was way out, the compression was way out, so it took a little bit of time for me to get it dialed in and, and, and started. Once I'd got there, it was much easier to start. It still wasn't perfect, but it was quite difficult to adjust the compression screw because without the lock on the top or without the lock tightened, the compression screw would just free rotate with the vibration. So it was just kind of managing the, the lock and the compression screw together and, and it made it harder for that fine adjustment. But at the end of the day, it's back to life and it's running. Another lovely old diesel engine, 1cc ME Heron, back to life, which is fantastic. And I really enjoyed hearing it and seeing it run. And I hope you enjoyed it as well.